S.K. Macharia's journey is one for the ages, from tending goats in rural Kenya to leading a media empire. His life is a testament to ambition and resilience. Macharia's story is about defying expectations. He rose from poverty to become a media mogul, leaving an indelible mark on Africa. Born in 1942, Macharia's early life was marked by hardship. He grew up in a small village where education was a luxury. His family struggled to afford basic needs. Young Macharia had to help tending to the family's goats. Little did he know this humble beginning would shape his extraordinary journey. Despite the challenges, Macaria had a thirst for knowledge. He believed education was his ticket to a better life. This drive propelled him to excel in his studies. He earned a scholarship to study in the United States, a turning point in his life. This opportunity would expose him to a world of possibilities. It would also ignite his entrepreneurial spirit. America proved to be transformative for Macaria. He embraced the American dream, working hard to succeed. He pursued a degree in accounting, graduating with honors. His sharp mind and business acumen didn't go unnoticed. He landed a job at the prestigious Deloitte & Touche, a global accounting firm. Macharia thrived at Deloitte, quickly rising through the ranks. He gained invaluable experience in finance and accounting. This experience proved to be crucial for his future ventures. But while he excelled in his career, his heart yearned for Kenya. He wanted to use his success to make a difference back home. In 1980, after a decade in America, Macharia returned to Kenya. He was determined to contribute to his nation's development. He saw an opportunity in the business world, which was ripe for growth. He established his first company, Madhupapa International, a tissue paper manufacturing company. This venture marked the beginning of his entrepreneurial journey in Kenya. It was a testament to his vision and risk-taking appetite. Madhupapa quickly became a success, solidifying Macaria's status as a shrewd businessman. This success fueled his ambition, leading him to explore new horizons. Maharia's success with Madhupapa fueled his ambition. He saw a gap in the Kenyan market. The media industry was tightly controlled by the government. Independent voices were stifled. This lack of a free press troubled Makaria. He envisioned a different future for Kenya, one where information flowed freely. This vision led him to a bold decision to establish a private media house. It was a risky move. The government held a tight grip on information. Challenging the status quo could have serious consequences, but Macharia was undeterred. He believed in the power of a free press. In 1989, Macharia took the leap. He registered his first media company, setting the stage for a revolution in Kenya's media landscape. This bold move would challenge the government's monopoly on information. It would also usher in a new era of independent broadcasting in Kenya. Royal Media Services, as Macharia named his venture, began modestly. Its first foray into broadcasting was radio. Royal Media launched a radio station targeting the Kikuyu community. The station, Inuro FM, was an instant hit. It provided news and entertainment in a language people understood. The success of Inuro FM proved Macharia's instincts right. There was a huge appetite for independent local content. It also highlighted the limitations of the government-controlled media. The government took notice, viewing Macharia's venture with suspicion. Despite the government's wary eye, Macharia pressed on. He expanded Royal Media's radio network. New stations were added, broadcasting in various languages. This expansion broadened Royal Media's reach, cutting across ethnic lines. It also solidified Macaria's commitment to serving all Kenyans. This commitment to diversity and inclusivity became a hallmark of royal media. It set it apart from its competitors. It also made it a powerful force for unity in a country often divided along ethnic lines. Macaria's vision was clear to create a media empire that reflected the diversity of Kenya. Macaria's journey was not without its challenges. The late 1990s and early 2000s were turbulent times in Kenya. The government, wary of Macaria's growing influence, often tried to silence him. His radio stations were raided, his journalists were harassed and intimidated, but Macaria refused to be cowed.
He challenged the government's actions in court, fiercely defending his right to freedom of the press. His resilience in the face of adversity earned him admiration from both his supporters and critics. It also inspired a new generation of journalists in Kenya. Makaria's battles with the government were not just about business, they were about fundamental principles. He believed in the power of a free press to hold those in power accountable. He was willing to fight for that belief, no matter the cost. His courage and determination paved the way for a freer media landscape in Kenya. Throughout these turbulent times, Makaria never lost sight of his vision. He continued to invest in royal media, expanding its reach and influence. His unwavering belief in the power of media would eventually lead him to his most ambitious project yet, Citizen TV. In 1999, Makaria launched Citizen TV, an independent television station. This was a game changer. Until then, television broadcasting had been the exclusive domain of the state-owned Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC. Citizen TV broke the mold, offering viewers an alternative source of news and information. Citizen TV quickly gained popularity. It offered high-quality programming, focusing on local content and issues. Its news coverage was bold and unbiased, challenging the government's narrative. This resonated with viewers who were hungry for a fresh perspective. The success of Citizen TV cemented Royal Media's position as a leading media house in Kenya. It also marked a turning point in Kenya's media landscape. The era of government monopoly on information was over. Citizen TV's success inspired other independent media outlets to emerge, fostering a more vibrant and diverse media landscape. Macharia's vision for Citizen TV extended beyond Kenya's borders. He wanted to create a pan-African media powerhouse, one that would tell the African story from an African perspective. This vision would drive his next phase of expansion. Driven by his pan-African vision, Macharia expanded royal media's reach beyond Kenya. He launched a series of radio and television stations across East Africa. He invested heavily in technology, ensuring his media outlets could reach even the most remote corners of the region. Macharia understood the power of technology to bridge divides. He embraced digital platforms, launching online streaming services for Royal Media's content. This made it possible for audiences across Africa and beyond to access news and entertainment from a distinctly Kenyan perspective. Under Mecharia's leadership, Royal Media became synonymous with innovation. It was one of the first media houses in Africa to embrace digital migration, transitioning from analog to digital broadcasting. This forward-thinking approach ensured Royal Media remained at the forefront of the rapidly evolving media landscape. Makariya's commitment to innovation extended to content creation. He invested in local productions, nurturing Kenyan talent and showcasing Kenyan stories. This commitment to local content helped shape a new narrative for African media, one that moved away from dependence on foreign productions. S.K. Macharia's journey from humble beginnings to media mogul is an inspiration. His story is a testament to the power of hard work, resilience, and an unwavering belief in one's vision. But Makaria's legacy extends far beyond his personal success. He is a pioneer who transformed the media landscape in Kenya and beyond. Makaria's unwavering commitment to a free press helped pave the way for greater media freedom in Kenya and across Africa. His courage in challenging the status quo inspired a new generation of journalists, encouraging them to speak truth to power. His media empire, built on the principles of independence and integrity, continues to be a powerful voice for the voiceless. Makaria's impact extends beyond the media industry. He is a philanthropist who believes in giving back to society. His foundation supports education, healthcare and other social causes in Kenya. His commitment to social justice is evident in his media outlet's coverage of issues affecting the marginalized and the vulnerable. S.K. Macharia's story is a beacon of hope, demonstrating that with determination and a vision, anything is possible. 
His legacy as a media titan, a champion of a free press and a philanthropist, will continue to inspire generations to come. His life and work are a testament to the transformative power of media and the enduring spirit of the human will.